Alrighty y'all, no, this is not some clickbait video. Do not scroll away. away. I'm going to really show you how in just 10 hours per week with the right focus, you can grow your clothing store to $10 thousand dollars per month all right so number five is the website optimization honestly this is overlooked because everyone thinks that their ads are the issues when really it's the fact that their website has no trust i'm going to show you a few quick fixes you can make to your site to increase your conversion rate i would ideally like for you to be around a two percent conversion rate depending on your niche and price point but a one and a half to three percent is good anything outside of these numbers and there are a few things to consider right so Either there's not enough trust or there's way too much warm traffic. Spend one hour per week here on the optimization. If you need a step-by-step -step guide for your Shopify store and how to optimize it, check out the link in the description um, below. But first, let's go check out the actual store here and go through the three things that you can implement literally right now to increase your optimization. Okay, so over here on the website, First things first, this hero image must be clickable. My guess is that your hero image is not clickable. Step things, number two, make sure that this has a strong call to action. I would say this is probably not a great call to action. Summer graphics, drop, bright, fun graphics for any adventure, shop now. It's got the shop now button. Um, probably could be a stronger call to action, but they do have the, uh, the lifestyle or the aspirational uh, person over here on the actual page, so it's okay. Uh, but the third thing, and we'll see if these people actually do it, is that as you scroll through the site, make sure that it's hitting on new arrivals or best sellers, and then go into other products that will be recommendations that they have. See, so they actually hit it on all three. So new arrivals, and then they have what we think that you will like, then the best sellers. Um, we also like to have some social proof, which they do, okay? Some social proof, and then Instagram's a great way to also kind of like shop the look, but also add some validity to the brand as well. You can add or not add the Instagram part of things as well. But so then if your site is like building an actual resume of something that people would actually check out and telling them what to look at is the biggest part. So many people jump into like, look at this collection and this collection and this collection, and then they confuse people like crazy versus like, just go look at the newest arrivals, the best sellers, because they're the reason that they are the newest arrivals or the best sellers. So go check it out that way. So those three things you can implement literally today um, and it will help your conversion rate right now. So number four though, is traffic. I prefer that you start with Facebook and Instagram ads and after you grow past that, the six figure mark, right? You're making six figure plus per year. Let's expand to other spots. But I'll tell you right now that we work with brands doing seven figures per month only using Facebook and Instagram. So you can too, right? It means that you can hit a $10,000 a month just doing Facebook and Instagram. You don't have to chase those others. So let me show you how to set up a campaign literally right now very basic, very simple that you can set up and you should only be spending one to two hours on this ad account per week max. Yes, it can be done even after spending thousands of dollars per day, I promise you that it's possible. So I'm gonna show you how to set up this ad account um, or more so how to set up this campaign and then let it run and then an hour per week continue to optimize it. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do, go ahead and hit this green button over here on the left hand side and it is create. We're gonna go down to sales, go ahead and hit continue. Now, you have an option to do an Advantage Plus campaign or a manual campaign. Advantage Plus is great if you've been running ads for a while and Facebook has got enough data that it's gonna be able to find your audience and scale this thing. If you're just starting out, like you might likely are, uh, I would do a manual sales campaign. Now, that being said, we're going for conversions for a sales campaign. This is your top of the funnel. This is the campaign that will never turn off. The goal here is that you continue to test content. All right, so go ahead and hit continue. All right, so you can label it however you would like does not really matter just as long as it is labeled uh, for you. We usually say TOF or a zero one, anything that indicates that this is a top of the funnel testing campaign. Scroll down, we're gonna do advantage campaign budget and you can pick this budget. Now, the budget you choose, just think about it as you're never going to uh, turn this campaign off. So choose a budget that you will not turn off. So if it's $50 a day, $100 a day, $500 a day, whatever it is, make sure that you are able to leave it on. Go ahead and click next. The ad set name, this is the audience that you're going after. So we are typically at this point saying broad. Um, what Facebook is suggesting right now is website and shop. They're really pushing their Facebook shop. We've seen some success here. So go ahead and test that one out as well. If it doesn't work, then you can always go back to the website. All right, so conversion objective, make sure that this ad's actually uh, connected correctly. All right, select your pixel. All right, dynamic creative, make sure that it's on. What this allows you to do, you can just pause it and read here um, and it will actually tell you what it will do. 
but basically it creates a bunch of different categories or a bunch of different pieces of content within one ad so you don't have to waste a bunch of money creating multiple ads all right no end date it keeps telling me this end date here which i'm going to keep pushing out i don't know why it keeps telling me that i need to have an end date this is something that's been going on for a while so anyway uh, once i launch it i'll be able to remove it so I guess if you have that option, just leave it as an end date that's like 30 days in advance. And then once it launches, just go ahead and click it. It's not going to mess with your campaign. All right, expand beyond targeting selections. I mean, you can leave it on. It doesn't matter. We're doing broad anyway. So age, gender, location. If this is a women's clothing boutique, I'm going to go from anywhere between 25 to 55, 64. Um, I'm going to go after female, All right? And then advantage plus placements, make sure that's there. All right, when you get to the ad level, make sure you label this. So if this is swimwear, then make sure that the whole campaign is about swimwear. What we suggest is three to four pieces of content that are very similar, and then you'll put them all into the uh, creative section here. So single images or videos, and then you can select multiple of them. So let's go ahead and choose this. Let me choose different. All right, select images. I'm just grabbing some random images at this point. So you'll see that there's four of them here. I want them all to be kind of similar, graphics or just uh, um, a regular standing behind it background. That's the, the, the concept we're testing. Now in this creation, what you're really looking to do, like I said, is very similar pieces of content. All of them should be UGC. They could all be um, graphics. In the very beginning, I like to test a variety of content until you find a winner. So it could be UGC, a collection style video, it could also be a graphic, it could be a single image, product image. All right, optimize created for each person. I have been leaving this on. Primary text, headline, you could always add another option so you can put in we suggest two headlines two primary text and then the display link um well we're going to make sure that you do not um like we're not going to have a call extension or whatsapp button but you could if you would like to the next thing is uh let me scroll down make sure we're good here make sure that everything is turned on for your offline events if you have it app if you have it and then we are good to go then you should always just put in the url because then it will actually show you there we go and then you can preview each one of the text. So once you launch this, again, you will just continue to create ad sets. All you need to do at that point is literally go over to the ad set level and then go over here, quick duplicate, and then you can go through the whole process again. And instead of swimwear, maybe you do 4th of July or you do Christmas or Easter or whatever that may be. All right, so number three is profit and email marketing. This is where your money is made. Once you get to a thousand subscribers, engaged subscribers, I want you to start sending out two to three emails per week and one SMS if you can. Batch this work for one to two weeks at a time and then go on about your business. This will be about one to two hours per week when you start to create this content. If you can batch, it will even save you more time. So right now, we're at about four-ish hours, five hours per week that you're working on in the business, okay? So there will be more time. You're like, well, there's no way I gotta spend time to set this up. Don't worry, you have to set this up and then afterwards the maintaining will be the 10 hours. This next one is very, very important. All right, so number two is customer experience. This is your live selling. We use a tool called Comment Sold for all the people that we work with. Check them out. Uh, there is a link, I believe, down in the description. The other part of customer experience is your shipping, packaging, and customer service. I'll explain each of these areas, um, but after it's up and running for this area, this whole part of the customer experience, one hour per week um, improving these areas will suffice, or at least a 30 minute live per week, and then the other 30 minutes improving the customer service. Your live selling, uh, it's just literally picking up your phone, going live on uh, Comment Sold or something similar, which will go live on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and then people can literally comment the word sold and it will charge their card and process through Shopify. It's very powerful. Like I said, it's very, very cool. Um, the next thing is packaging. Do your research. If you are an organic brand or you are a um, sustainable brand, make sure that your packaging, your messaging aligns, make sure there's inserts, make sure there's a QR code with a postcard that actually has a video of you. Thanks them so much for purchasing that product. And I would also say the next level is obviously you want to have some kind of discount or deal for them to buy a second time. The customer service, make sure that there's some kind of chat. Uh, people do not like to wait uh, via around, around via email. So a live chat would be a really good way to, to make this happen. Uh, there's a lot of free chats out there. There's also Intercom and Crisp that you could check out. Do not skip this step. This is where you will get repeat customers. All right, before we get into this last one here, probably the biggest area to help you grow your business and build an actual brand, I wanna say, hey, look, 
If you are a clothing store, you've watched this part of the video and you're like, ah, I really just need somebody to help me, guide me through this, this for my business, just check out the link in the description down below. We have 45 minute strategy sessions. Um, we are a uh, small but limber team. Um, however, we do have real conversations and we did really do go through the strategy, so spots are limited. But if that is you, if you actually are interested, just check out the link in the description down below. All right, so number one is organic marketing. This is going to be the area where you have to decide if you can go over 10 hours per week or if you need to outsource the other areas in your business to spend more time. This part of the business does take time and it's not just posting, but SEO and UGC or user generated content. I would also highly suggest using tools like AI to help you. Let me show you a few ideas I came up with so that you can execute them faster. Okay, so the first thing you want to look at is obviously ChatGBT. Uh, that's, a, that's a great place to look at. So chat.openai.com, you can go in and log in. I also want to point you over to bard.google. Um, this is a great way that you can still search the internet and use AI. Um, so we can talk about some prompts if you guys are interested in that. There is another video we use um, going through everything through ChatGPT. You can watch that video right here um, and it will walk you through everything we did using ChatGPT and Bard if that's something that you're interested in. Um, another tool that we use to help schedule um, is repurpose.io. All right, repurpose.io. This is great for you if you're a content creator, video creators, whatever like that, you can grab the content that you've already created and repost them across multiple platforms. Okay, and then one other thing that I would suggest that you do is you can actually schedule your Instagram stories. There's a tool called Sked uh, Social. They are like, they integrate with a ton of different things. Let's look at the pricing real quick. I do not use them, um, $200 a year. And then something that just happened is that the CEO of Instagram said that the best story amount per day is about two to seven. Anything less or anything more, not as engaging. So that's what's gonna help you rank on Instagram. So scheduling out those stories makes it a lot easier. So check out that software as well. And at least four to five hours per week, one hour for your ideas, two to three hours for your shooting, and then one hour for posting and scheduling your content, like I said. Don't try to post it in the moment, just literally schedule it ahead of time, it will be very helpful. And you may be thinking that this is tight and there is no way, this is no way this can work. And you'd be right if you thought right out of the gate you could do this. But after the initial setup and very good time blocking, it is possible. I would also highly suggest to find a friend, family member, or VA to help with some of the areas that are not technical to get you two to three hours of your time back to focus on the areas that only you can do. All right, y'all, if you liked this video and you really want to figure out how the heck can I make Facebook or Instagram ads work to grow my clothing store, make sure you go watch one of these videos right here. All right, see y'all next time. Have a great rest of your day, and P.S., make sure that you hit that subscribe button.